Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news. And now the news in details. Buhari Rehat, as Fulani Eightsmen invade Kaduna community, kills 17 persons in revenge attack. Buhari Rehat to the killing of 17 persons by bandits suspected to be Fulani Eightsmen in Kaduna state. President Muhammad Buhari has again condemned the wave of revenge attack among the Fulani and Adara community in Kajuru local government area of Kaduna State. On Tuesday morning, 17 people were reportedly killed by suspected Fulani headsmen that invaded the village in Kajuru local government area of Kaduna State, about, while about five persons were injured. Vanguard reports that two sisters were also kidnapped by an unknown gunmen during another attack at Sabonjero village in Kaduna State. The president of the Adara Development Association, ADA, Awema Masamari, who confirmed the incident, told reporters on Tuesday that the headsmen invaded the village, armed with guns, machetes, and knives, he said. The attackers were Fulani Etmen. They invaded the community at about 1 a.m. on Tuesday and started killing people. Twelve of the people were killed on the spot. The corpse of five others were recovered in the bush. There were there are those who sustained injuries. Some were killed with machetes. Some were killed by gunshots. Some houses were burnt. Some of those who escaped to the bush are still missing. About two hours after the bandits fled, the security personnel manning a checkpoint not too far from the community came, but they did not enter the community, they just stayed by the main road. Reacting to the killings in a statement issued on Tuesday night by his media head, Kabasheo Buhari said the range of revenge attack and counter attack in Kajuru community are worrisome. President Buhari said that the killing in the name of revenge is wrong and should be condemned. He said that the recourse to self-help instead of the law of the land is the real cause of the killings and counter between the two community. Buhari, however, warned that no person has the right to take the law into his or her hands, adding that anybody caught involved in the killings will be arrested and prosecuted. Wow, so guys, you've heard it all. You can imagine this Nigerian system, may God help us from them all. Because the way the things is, the way uh, things is happening in, uh, in the north is just so scary. Look at the way these people are killing people as if they are killing chicken. This is too much. This is too much. And our president needs to do something about it. It is not about the president condemning who and who. We don't need, to, we, are, we are tired of somebody condemning, at least a whole president for that matter. He needs to take action and do something about this, what these people are doing to innocent men and women in the country. This is getting too much because we have had enough of this condemning the 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 the, the, the men of whatever they call themselves. And we know that they are under straight federal government's protection. You know, you can imagine a leader who is so accused in another developed country. What would have, he would have, he would have had the sanity to resign? And that would have been for for, for President Muhammad Buhari, because the way these people are doing. Because the thing is that they match their resentment of this Fulani headsman all over Nigeria with the action of a kitten office for a young man. The thing is that this, this is too much. This is getting too much. These people does not even have a conscience at all. All these headsmen, all these Fulani, they just, they, they, they are too confident of, of themselves. May God help us from them home. You are tired of the, of the government condemning and condemning. Are they not ashamed of themselves? Today they will talk about condemn. Tomorrow the same thing. We have we had so much hope 
in this in, in president when he came in 2015 but look at the whole thing look at how everything has turned upside down for nigeria this thing is too much especially in the north our president needs to do something about this you know and nigerians are saying that how did buhari get the information that it was revenge attack who told him that was one of the attackers arrested and confessed that it was a revenge attack was buhari informed before the attack we did not hear any of our, of any any attack on fulanis by the adara people not to hear of revenge it is incredible buhari should arrest the copyright with immediate effect or face the wrath of god almighty hmm. this is getting too much this is getting too much in our country nigeria even those 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 people that are there they need to they need to arrest them because what have the government ever done to them all this why that we have been talking about boko around the banditry and all that what has they done nothing the only thing they do is just to condemn with mouth. And that is it. And we believe that our president can give order, can make, can, can, can put an end to all these people that are marauding, that are causing problems in the country. He has everything to stop them. But we don't know why our president will keep condemning and talking and talking. And not taking action. Because it looks as if Nigerians should regret after having, having the Fulani leader as their choice. Because it is not a good thing. What we are experiencing now, it doesn't work it. And it is very disappointing indeed. I'm telling you, Nigerians is not even qualified to practice democracy. But what did they do? They rather to be recognized this time by either U.S. or France so that Nigeria will know what they belong to because it, the way things are going on these days it is only God I understand I'm telling you and people are saying that all of you supporting this evil against innocent people of Nigeria by your kingsmen from Niger Republic and Chad will pay for this soon and, you, and their generation will not be spread of the wrath of God because there is already cause in their family by supporting evil against innocent people of Nigeria. Hmm. Wow. This is too much. When I was reading the news, I was like, what is this people doing? Huh? Why? Why is all this thing happening in the nuts? Though it happens in other places too, but it is still rampant in the nuts. And things needs to do about needs has to be done about it. You know, well, people were just saying that this government is the worst government they have ever come across under the government of Muhammad Buhari. Nothing good have ever come out under his government. It's a shame, big shame. Killing here and there every day. What a pity if you don't know how to control the presidency. You better vacate the hellier the better. The president condemned what he terms recourse to self help. He said the killing ki the, the, the killing in their sleep should have gone to the law. When was the last time the law intervened in the killing by these marauding Fulanis? Our president is not interested in the safety of any tribes under this these their own tribes men he even said nobody should attempt to revenge against his people as it's only guaranteed to bring more havoc can nigerians see what party politics made us bring upon ourselves or we save the nation when our president takes side with a transnational tribe looking for territory may god help us may god help us obviously President Muhammad Buhari comes from the north. Definitely, it will be on their side any day, any time. So, guys, what do you think? What is your own take about this? Your comment is highly appreciated. And kindly drop your comment at the comment section below. 
for those who subscribe want to say very big thank you to you for subscribing we say god bless you thank you so much and also please don't forget to press the notification button so that anytime we upload news you will be the first person to watch our latest news thank you so much have a great day